Now that we have our Pico set up, let's work on a program using a button and an LED. For this, we're gonna need a Pico on a breadboard. We're gonna need a push button, an LED, a resistor, and a wire. Let's build a circuit using the circuit diagram provided in the video. You can also use this wiring diagram for reference. We begin by placing the LED on the breadboard and the button as well. We connect a resistor from the negative end of the LED to the ground. We connect a GPIO pin to the positive leg of the LED. We connect one end of the button to ground through a resistor and the other to VCC or power or 3.3 volts using a wire. And we connect the wire, the leg connected to ground to a GPIO pin that is configured as an input. Now we get down to the code. First, we import the libraries that allow to configure the pins uh, on the Pico. We also use the time library, which is gonna be useful for us when we want to blink the LED. We set up pin 16 as output in our example, but you can use the Raspberry Pi Pico pin out diagram to pick any other GPIO pin. We configure pin 15 as the input from the button. We then have a while true loop where we constantly print the value of the button. This allows us to debug the program in case it doesn't work. And whenever the button goes high, we toggle the LED and we also use the sleep so that it doesn't detect any other button presses and also helps in debouncing. You can see whenever you press the button now, the LED turns on and you press it again and it turns off.